TikTokers. Adored by the masses, helping everyone stay positive during these troubling times. Mandatory quarantine for two weeks? Here's some wholesome videos for your entertainment. And most importantly, more than happy to show you how much money they made by doing quirky dances. So hey, it's uh, been a minute. The last time most people have saw my face is when I dressed up as a woman on Instagram. So that's, uh, that's, that's pretty good. Please follow me on there by the way because I want to get the page so big that when I only get a million likes, I can actually complain about it. And it's a major, major algorithm change. The same exact statistics for my posts that were made this past week, so about a month and a half later. What the f- now, what I want to talk about today, in my pretty much yearly face cam video now, is something that PewDiePie warned us about. Something that happened over two years ago. And that was... The Viner Invasion. What are the long-term effects of Vine dying going to be? Well... This is no longer the Viner Invasion. CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat in the free world. Talking about me versus TikTok. That's right. Now, Viners, I've already milked them for all their worth. You've got the Paul brothers. Logan Paul did a film. I did a review of that film. It was okay. A ah! 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 uh, fun fact about that, I mentioned this before, but the uh, the director tried to actually strike the video down. Another Viner, PKs. I, I've actually never heard of this guy. I've, I've never made a video on him, I don't think. Hello? Hey babe, come over. I can't babe, I got the stomach flu, I've been all day. But my parents aren't home. Yeah, I've no idea who this guy is, but uh, Drew Gooden did some pretty good roasts on him. Roasts, roast. I don't enunciate teas, okay? I don't say, could I get a glass of water, sir? When you go poopy and then you check to see if there's toilet paper, but you realize that you don't have any toilet paper, oh, no. so you grab your keys to go to the store to buy more toilet paper, but then you remember that the government took away your driver's license because... Apparently, I haven't heard of Bikes because during the Great Vine migration, he moved to Instagram instead of YouTube, so, uh... Let's see one of his videos. What the Bubba. f***ing bitch and shut the Boy. Up! F***ing psycho babble bullshit! Baba boy. Okay, Bikes, some valuable criticism. I didn't think it was too great, but I'll give you a chocolate medal for the physical comedy. The audio engineering wasn't quite there though. I mean, this isn't TikTok, right? I don't need any sounds. We use ironic captions on Instagram. Uh, Lele Pons was also a big Vine refugee. You know, she had a lot of those backdoor YouTube meetings. You can't get enough of her. YouTube Rewind has her on YouTube series. Hilarious skits. How was your day? Oh my gosh. Do you want to go first? My day was divine. Okay, so I told him about India in 1648. Oh my god! It's boring! Go. Sports. She was also someone that made a movie that I uh, passionately Jesus talked about. God. You had uh, the, the, the why are my views so low woman. Why are the views so low? But I think what most people forget is that there were good Vine refugees as well. Uh, Danny Gonzalez, what Curtis Connor, Drew Gooden, Noel Miller's friend. You know, with. there are people out there. But this Vine opening, it's old news, I get it. But it's a preface of what is to come. Something that is infinitely worse. Because now, we're dealing with a fully-fledged TikTok invasion. <laughs> Quirky teen influencers moving to the platform to avoid the great cleansing. Uh, TikTok status is still up in the air at the moment. Uh, I think it's either going to be banned in the US entirely or bought by them. This has led to many creators diversifying their portfolio branching out onto other social apps outside of TikTok. Uh, probably the biggest I can think of is the Hype House. Their TikTok has about 18 million followers and they easily have some of the most lethargic product placement ever. It's genius, like don't even try to integrate the product, just have someone drink it in the background. Easy money. I'm gonna play the next one, but I'm gonna add a, a Stan reaction cam. I'm using a deep learning algorithm to understand how a Hype House fan would react to this video. Cover, what are you doing? I'm blowing bubbles. <laughs> Cover, stop doing that. Cover. Mike. <laughs> it's not even any comedy though, they're just... 
and just drink the product. They've now moved over to YouTube to expand their brand. And I just want to say, why do so many LA-based YouTubers have this strobe flashing effect? for every single intro of their videos. So they have to simulate a mild stroke just to keep their attention. Isn't this that LA many causes seizures? I applied to many fast food jobs, such as the Bell, Taco Bell, and guess what? I didn't get hired. Oh man, I hate when my tactic to grow my channel gets saturated. By the way, only a small percentage of you are subscribed to the channel. YouTube seems to have a glitch where it unsubscribes people. Here is proof, an unverified comment. <laughs> Please subscribe to help my channel grow into an Orwellian monster. Also, Hype House, you, you played yourself. yourself. You know why? Because you lowered yourself to the point where Comedy Shorts Gamer could successfully roast you. Here's are there in a millennium. She put one. One year in a millennium. You're 17 and you don't know that? You gave the guy that made an entire video about eating McDonald's fries a platform to roast you. It's the 360 Eat scope. Uh, no hate Deji though, by the way. Like, I, I, I get it, man. Like, you gotta get that bag. There's also the Dobre brothers that I've skimmed over before, but who cares about them, man? Irrelevant. Their channel only has 9 million subscribers. We only care about Lucas and Marcus with 22 million subscribers. Uh, their TikTok revolves much around physical comedy, like paying someone to pretend to trash their Tesla. Hey, Dobre brothers! Hey, what's up? I like your car. Thank oh, you, thank bro. you, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yo, are you serious? No! He threw sugar glass at my car. What am I gonna do now? Thank goodness he was kind enough to send me the video of him trashing my car. I like how Teslas are just like the typical e-celeb car now. If you have a Tesla and you're under 30, you're probably a YouTuber or a TikToker. And over 30, you're a day trader. Uh, they also have great YouTube content as well. I'm, I'm only gonna go over it briefly. Like a uh, hot versus cold dunk tank. So this is the cold dunk tank, which is negative five degrees maybe maybe even colder <laughs> maybe maybe five degrees uh, you want me to go get a thermometer and check bro like dude numbers unless it's like the hearts on a on tiktok page i don't like numbers i just like how hot versus cold just always gets fused as well like no matter what i, rem I remember when max mofo did uh glowing a thousand degree knife versus frozen negative a thousand like not a hundred degrees a thousand degrees <sighs> What is the hottest thing on the planet? Lava. 12,000 degrees. Okay. And that over there is the hot dunk thing. Over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Dang. Yep. Wouldn't it be frozen if it was negative five? Video dismantled in uh, 15 seconds. Genuinely just amazes me how children eat this up, by the way. Like, let's have a look at the comment section. That random person who liked my comments, I pray, may you and your parents live more than 100 years. It's like YouTube comments now, I've noticed. They've just devolved into people e-begging, and then people that do this, nobody, literally no one, not a single soul, punchline, you know those ones? I, I, I definitely would have made the same comments when I was 14 as well, but that, that is an epidemic. Dear stranger who likes this, your parents will live for more than 100 years. It's actually scary how low people go just to get like some level of likes on the internet. It's like a softcore version of that, uh, you know those things on Facebook, like, oh my god, you've seen this post now, like it or you'll have seven years of bad luck. It's like a softcore version of that. Uh, like this post or Big Chungus will appear <laughs> in your bedroom at 3am. And then you'll have all the sweats come out as well that just have like the reverse card so it doesn't even work. Dobre Brothers also played Among Us because, you know, we, we definitely don't have enough YouTubers playing that game on the market yet. Absolutely no planning went into this video, by the way. Like, it's just the family walking around in an incredibly oversized mansion and then they just script when people get game ended. I'm gonna leave the Dobre Brothers alone. I've talked about them enough, and they have a fight schedule with Cody Co. So you know, I, I gotta leave them to it. Hey, pull up, pull up the clip of them meeting their fans again. Colgate Total, number one recommended by dental professionals. Complete 12-hour protection. I know they apologized. All right, I, I know it, it's just funny. I, I will give them credit though. Like I've seen pictures of myself at fan meets. I look like a ghoul. Hey. I look disgusting. Clean yourself up, man. There's no ring light to hide behind here. This is the real world. But first. Will he make it? Not sure. We just injected a dose of season two, but uh, we're not getting the same results. He'll always be around, but <laughs> never as popular. Wait, who's that over there? Ah, 
they're a uh, special case, uh, chronic fatigue. Too many YouTubers poking and prodding them. Not to mention the underages laughing at them in the comment section. Oh, oh, that's terrible. By the way, have you heard of NordVPN? It's not even a good segue. Why, why would you bring that up here? Well, my South African friend, when I go home from work, I always use NordVPN to watch landlocked content. I, mean, I, I, I don't see how that's really relevant. You're in the hospital. When I forge my doctorate using the details of someone else, that man probably didn't have NordVPN. You, you just knew you've admitted to fill in the rot. I don't understand, but you, you come into my hospital. And how could he? So much content is region locked. What if I wanted to watch the footy with the lads, but they're only broadcasting it in Norway? Well, now you can. Wait, what? What are you doing? I'm calling the police. You, you have no right to be in this place. And more importantly, oh, oh, oh my god, nurse, nurse, I need a defibrillator. You know. I saw him in the waiting room, connecting to the free Wi-Fi, and then he became so ill from the 7G waves being emitted from everyone trying to hack into his phone. That doesn't even make sense. 7G doesn't even exist yet. Maybe not. But here was a man who didn't use NordVPN, and when he clicked a dodgy link, hackers took his personal information and sold it to Taiwan to create a cyber Android version of himself to integrate into society. <coughs> Alright, that's it. I'm going to use WhatsApp to call security. I just connected to the free Wi-Fi. That's right. When I found out my wife was using free Wi-Fi, I knew she was a danger to not only herself, but everyone around her and abandoned her instantly. This is my face when you don't use the link on screen for 68% off a two-year plan with a whole month for free. Seriously, guys, uh, it, it was one number of 69. Like, well, try, try harder next time. Now, another case study is the very, very famous Bella Porch. Now, she's not on YouTube yet, but she blew up on TikTok and now moved over to Instagram. I love video games, music, art, traveling, and anime. I also like drinking water and inhaling oxygen. I like most a truck and fire truck. Walter. Now, she's known for having, I, I think, unironically, the most liked singular TikTok ever. And that video is just literally her mouthing a song with face tracking. <laughs> Completely effortless, took her about two minutes, but it put her on the map. Uh, I also noticed that Millie B, the girl who made the song that's being synced, uh, she's now released a music video with reactions to the TikTok, and half of the video is just straight up censored to avoid copyright. Like, it's just half blurred out. And Bella did the thing everyone does when they get one drop of clout. They milk it until the milk becomes powder. It's genius how, like, every video is the exact same, just face tracking filter. Like, I, even I can do it. Now, I do want to say, as much as I'm renting her, you do kind of have to feel sorry for her because when you get e-fame, so many cockroaches just come out of every crevice to get their drop of clout. Like, there's a video of her in LA, and if you're famous to any degree in LA, that gives legal right for 30-year-old men to follow you around and film you. What do your tattoos mean? Because I know you have, like, a big ship and stuff like that. Okay, well, that's deep. That's deep. Oh. She also used to be in the military too. Apparently, there's some like army vet uh, TikToks, which is quite a weird subgenre if you think about it. I mean, I respect that, you know, if you can get 100 times the income with 1% the effort, like, more power to you. It does make you think, what's the point? Should I stop now? Like, th this is technically a filler video, right? Like, face cam video. Like, I've basically done the whole... I moved over to game and film. Should I stop that? Should I stop that and just go back to daily commentary videos? What what game did I play? I think it's Prototype 2. Uh, talk about a man being cringe. Why not, instead of shoving a whole plate of cringe, give you a starter of cringe instead? Something that's short Oh, man. Stuff like this, it just makes me question everything bro so you're telling me this girl bobbed her head for eight seconds and got 32 million likes well i'm out here spending hours of my day trying to make arbor for you guys <laughs> <laughs> come on bro you did him dirty nah it's just the cartoon like i didn't even laugh at the barrage of people laughing at him i literally just i lost it at the, the cartoon boing sound effect i'm out here spending hours of my day trying to make arbor for you guys <laughs> <laughs> These the child but guys Something terrible happened. Bella Porch.
got cyberbullied. Uh, someone uploaded a TikTok not laughing at Bella Porch, which uh, made her cry. They also threatened physical violence, which it, that's not cool. Come on, man. Like, the only time a haymaker should be allowed on anyone is Resident Evil. Yeah. George Bush. You see that? That was a reference that wasn't Breaking Bad or Dark Souls. I too am diversifying my portfolio. I also want to briefly talk about a competitive TikTok app that Cody Co covered a couple weeks ago. A thriller which is taking advantage of the fact that TikTok is kind of on its knees at the minute. How you doing? I assume it's going to be another vidme, you know, they came around when YouTube was in trouble. They were like, we're the competitor guys, and then they shut down. Where's everyone going? Bingo? But they've come so far to have their own house called the Triller House. There's not really much to say about it, but just, just look at the size of that shower in the house. Professionals have standards. That is the size of an average family home in the UK. Your shower's kind of small, dude. What? What? What do you say? This is my room. Why do they all look the same? White people in influencer houses in America, they literally all just look the same. Like the only thing that differentiates them is their haircuts and the uh, milligrams of roids in their veins as well. Uh, you didn't hear that from me. Now, I do want to say the TikTok invasion, it has also come to the other side of the pond, to the great land of Great Britain. So people in the UK also have their own TikTok houses now. There's one called the Jet House, and it's actually a fairly small house, a 10 bedroom mansion in Spain. <laughs> All right, everyone, here we are. We're at the Jet House. Does everyone want to go on a house tour or what? Let's show you the bedrooms. Woo! <laughs> I do want to preface that uh, Cody also reacted to this video as well, so uh, big up my man. But I do want to point out something that Cody didn't. Look at that man's pit stains. He is dedicated to his craft. Look at his pit stains. He's sweating. Logan Paul. As you can see, I have a lovely view of the garden. It's absolutely stunning. It's really good for motivation in the morning when I wake up. Ah, uh, yes. Window with view. I mean, I can't blame her to be fair. Like, a day in the UK with actual sun is like twice a year now. I'm still loving it. Just put some positive quotes and stuff on the wall. Nice pictures, Mama Mia style. Yeah. Women be like, I need a pillow that says live, laugh, love on it. Uh, you've also got the Bite House as well with incredibly high production value TikToks like this. <laughs> All you could do literally just film me drinking water and then slow down the footage, and that could be a TikTok. Where's my 47 million likes now? Here we are, we're at the Jet House. Does everyone want to go on a house tour or what? They also did a TikTok with the Joker, but they picked uh, Jared Leto Joker. Uh, you know you know the one with damaged on his, the, the bad one, yeah. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna kill me, Mr. Jared? Oh, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really bad. There's another UK house as well called the Wave House. They're probably the biggest UK based TikTok influencer house I can think of. The house itself is valued at about 5 million uh, quid, British quid. And that same number equates to the amount of phone calls you get of people snitching on you if you're out past 10 p.m. at the minute. They all do this thing as well where they wear a reflective spiked mask. Like, that's not even your bit. That's Kanye West bit. He did that like five years ago. You're locked in here with me. You got nabbed from Kanye. Hey, good morning, Kanye. Get out. But their problem is they've realized that they're not based in LA, so they can't be relatable. So to stand out and truly be unique in a very competitive environment, they had to become a crazy cult. <laughs> I know the mask is the main appeal, but why do they all have white sneakers though? Woman doesn't have sneakers on. Is she leader of cult? So I guess this video is meant to like show the immense wealth that they have. A house that costs several million. A helicopter they stole from the tours in GTA 4. So apparently this house to build up hype, uh, they'd announce members, but they wouldn't just announce them. They'd make it a huge spectacle with loads of stuff going on. So this is apparently uh, Jimbo H. Boy! Now we've already had someone do Jared Leto Joker, but what if Jimbo H did Michael Keaton Batman? <laughs> he 
Imagine Batman on his way to stop a crime and he just starts walking like that towards you. Oh my, is that touch the light? I think I know this guy. He was a guy that made a video a couple years ago trying to bathe in bleach. I got my bleach and I'm feeling fine. Hey, we're about to get lit, boy. Oh my god, I almost ran someone over dead. That would be kind of funny if I hit someone. I respect it, man. You get that bag. They also did an entire house tour. So why don't you sit with me and watch some unobtainable wealth? Sorry. I obviously we have a ring light because we are TikTokers because this is a TikTok content creator house. Not YouTube, TikTok. Yeah, you heard me at first. I like how she says TikTok. Uh, she talks down on YouTube like TikTok is infinitely superior. YouTube? What do you think? What do you think we are coming to? Ugh. Only TikToks in this fine estate. Here, we do the funny Batman crouch walk. This is the gym. This is where they all work out. They have a, they have a PT come once a week, twice a week actually. Could you imagine like talking to the personal trainer? So uh, what are your goals, you know? Like what, what do you want to achieve long term? I, I, I keep being bullied by commentary channels and I just want to chill them out in public. Oh, that's fine, bro. You know, I got just the thing for you. Uh, here. Anabolic steroids. Take them. In two months, you'll have that PewDiePie body. I was watching this TikTok with the water slide and stuff, and I just had instant flashbacks to Morgs Fest. I was so happy I did not get inside that event, man. I'm gonna call it now. This thing is gonna get abandoned in three months, like the hype house. That's what the kids call epic fail. You also have the uh, goat house in Ireland, which uh, recently actually had a name change, getting rid of the word goat. So everybody's been asking us why we changed the name of the house, and Shauna knows the answer. Yes. This is the title of the YouTube video, Shauna. Uh, do a good answer, please. I don't like goats. <laughs> simple, plain and simple. I don't like goats. Well, that's why, guys. In a very honest and direct answer. Thank you all for watching. I very much appreciate it. I know this is more of like a kind of filler like video, but there are some people on the channel that still enjoy seeing my uh, my big boy face. I do have some bigger projects in the works. They do just you know take a while, and if it takes a while, people complain about there not being enough. Look, just let me. I, I got this, all right? It's fine. It's fine. You wait three months and you'll get an in-depth analysis of food fight. We're good. Now, you sure you know what to do? What the heck you talking to? Come on. I'm your best friend, Daredevil Dan, the most stunt flyer. By the way, if any of you actually want to keep up to date on what I'm doing, Instagram is probably the best place and also the community tab on YouTube. I'm going to start using that more to update stuff. I posted a screenshot of Far Cry 2. I, like, I do want to do a video on that. Me shooty in Africa. Me have fun in Africa. Thank you all for watching. Uh, unsubscribe and... Go away.